Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice radical equation. Uh, this problem is from math competitions in Russia. We are given x to the power square root of x equals square root of x to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x values, for real x values. So here's what I can do about this equation. First of all, I want to get rid of the square root, the radical. I mean, not the exponent, but the radical um, that contains x to the power x inside. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the definition, the rational exponent definition of radicals or the square root. I can basically write this as x to the power x to the power 1 half. Because when you raise something to the power 1 half, you take the square root. If you multiply it by itself, you get the original number because 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1. Does that make sense? x to the power 1 half times x to the power 1 half is equal to x. But of course, x needs to be positive in this case. Otherwise, you're going to deal with complex numbers, which is a complex issue. Anyways, so we got the following. We can multiply powers. That gives us x to the power square root of x equals x to the power x divided by 2. And this has some very simple consequences. For example, if the bases are equal, so are the exponents. I can write this as square root of x equals x over 2. And obviously, x equals 0 is an obvious solution here. But don't go for the obvious. Square both sides, get rid of the radical, make sure there are no extraneous roots, but also make sure that anything you, um, what am I supposed to say? Stay within the domain. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to say. So x needs to be greater than or equal to 0. We'll take a look at the uh, 0 case later on. So let's go ahead and square both sides. We get x, no, we don't get x squared. Come on. We get x equals x squared over 4. Now here you may want to divide both sides by x, but don't do it because you're gonna, you may lose some roots. Instead, put everything on the same side and factor. I can take out an x. That's going to give me x over, f uh, x over 4 minus 1 equals 0. And from here, either this is 0 or that is 0, which means x is either 0 or 4. So there are two possible values. I say possible because I haven't checked them yet. And let's go ahead and take a look at the original problem. x to the power square root of x equals square root of x to the power x. Now, does x equal 0 work? And the answer is no. Because if you re replace x with 0, you get 0 to the power 0 equals square root of 0 to the power 0. But I know some of you will argue that 0 to the power 0 is equal to 1. But that's not the case. We have a hole. When you graph x to the power x at 0, we're going to have a hole. So that's kind of like, like an indeterminate form, not undefined. So unfortunately, 0 is not going to work. Therefore, we end up with x equals 4, which seems to be working, because if you plug it in, 4 to the power 2 is equal to the square root of 4 to the 4. That is correct, because this is 16, that is 256, so on and so forth, and you get the idea. Make sense? But are, they, are those the only solutions? No, we still have to check something else. And what is that? So when you have something like, you know, x to the power a is equal to x to the power b, you know that a could equal b, which is something that we went through already, or we could have x equals 1, or we could have x equals negative 1, but in this case, a and b are both even, right? Otherwise, we're going to run into problems. So we still have to check these two cases to see if they are possible solutions. Let's go ahead. Since the substitution is easy, we can just go ahead and plug them in. For example, x equals 1 will work. Yay! It's another solution. But negative 1 is not going to work because negative 1 to the power squared, uh-oh, remember we were talking about the domain, square root of x is not defined for negative numbers. It's defined for 0, but 0 causes another problem, therefore we had to discard it. Negative 1 is discarded as well, so we end up with 1 and 4 as our solutions. Now I want you to take a look at the graph real quick and then we're just gonna uh, wrap it up. All right, here we go. I graph both of these functions for you. y equals x to the power square root of x and y equals square root of x to the power x. And you can see the intersection points here, the red one, I know it's kind of hard to see because they're pretty close, but the green one is the x to the power square root of x and the red one or the pink one, whatever that color is, is the square root of x to the power x. They intersect at 1, 1 and 4, 16. And obviously, uh, one of these functions is going to grow much faster. Therefore, they're not going to intersect again. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.